this particular gun dates from 1899 to 1905 and then they made significant changes to the way the, the mechanism works on the later versions there'll be a piece mounted onto the barrel that has a detent that connects into the push rod this model does not did not have that it has a push button to unlock it like most modern pistols and then the hand eject them the cart spent cartridges like this the primary difference between this version and later versions are in the internal workings to see them you need to remove the grip which is held on by one screw I've already got it loose it has an alignment pin on the bottom and then you'll need to remove this plate which there's four screws in it and then it's machine very tight fit machining on it which pretty impressive but a lot of modern guns don't have that you kind of have to wiggle it loose it's got uh, four holes uh, these are insets for pins uh, the different workings and that's a slot for the cylinder rotator or lift arm now this version, it's, this particular gun is missing a second leaf spring here that would actuate this part. That was the trigger return spring. The later versions after 1905 and even some before had a sliding block mechanism that used a coil spring. And sort of an updated version. This spring's missing. I assume somebody had another early model Smith Wesson revolver in better shape and stole the spring out of it now if he when you go to eject the cylinder this block here moves forward and that keeps the hammer from rotating until it's closed on single action you lift the hammer back it lifts the trigger back until it catches right at the top of it right here on the very tip of the hammer and when the trigger is pulled that moves up above that lip and then the hammer falls since it doesn't have a return spring I have to pull the trigger forward double action there's a little spring loaded uh, lever here on the hammer and the cylinder pulls it back until it clears it and that's how the double action works That's pretty much the all there is about this particular firearm. It's a pretty simple mechanism. Later versions had better sights, and uh, that said that barrel lug here and the updated trigger mechanism. If you, I haven't been able to find a replacement spring for it, but I haven't looked real hard. This gun's uh, pretty rough. It's uh, seen a lot better days. If you pull it forward. The detents out of that so that piece can if you were using this in a real life situation that piece would probably just fall straight out it's sort of just an old wall hanger but it is a neat neat uh, example of an early of the early versions that's pretty much it for this pistol like I said all the later versions had a block here and an updated trigger spring the police and military models had better sights on the rear and some had a loop on the bottom but this is uh, pretty much the early early model 10s look pretty much like this 